Google is the most widely used search engine on the planet, with over 3.5 billion searches per day across the globe. But there are a lot of things that Google search can do besides just looking up information. So I'm going to show you a few tricks for Google search that you may not know about. You can use it as a timer. If you set set timer for whatever time amount you want to, it will begin counting down. And of course, if you have speakers on, it actually does have a beeping sound to let you know. So you can set this up for seconds, minutes, hours, however long you absolutely want to. Or you can actually click over here where it says stopwatch and use this to count forward in case you're just trying to keep track of something. You can use it for conversions too. So let's say you want to say 32 ounces to cups to find out how much that actually is. And that'll tell you that 32 US fluid ounces equals four cups. And from within this specific dropdown, you can change it to all kinds of different levels of measurements and then adjust your calculations back and forth. But it's a really easy way, especially if you're doing baking and it says for a specific kind of measurement that you're not quite sure about, this is a really good, easy way to convert those. You can use it to look up definitions. If you just type in the word define, space, and then the words you want to look up, hit enter, it'll tell you the part of speech and the definition of the word you looked at and give you a whole lot more translations of word origins if you want to click the little drop down arrow at the bottom here. You can use it as a calculator from the most basic of operations, or you can do some more of the complex level stuff. It doesn't matter, and it does actually follow the order of operations. So if you're doing some really complex math, you can use Google to check your answer. A really useful search tip that I can teach you is how to use the minus sign. Anytime you use the minus sign next to a word, it excludes that word from all the searches. So let's say you want to look up information about mountains, but you don't want it to bring up mountain lions. So you can use the minus sign and the word lion, and when you hit enter, it's going to bring up a ton of information just about mountains, and it won't include anything with the word lion in it. So it's a really good way to narrow your search. So there you have it, five easy Google search tips that you may not have known existed. Hopefully some of these will kind of help you out. Um, if you have any questions, do drop it in the comment section down below and I'll help you out. If you found the video useful, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button below the video. And don't forget to subscribe for future videos. Thank you guys so much for your time. You have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later.